Hi and welcome to this Blueberry Markets video update with me John Kibler, Head Currency Analyst. In this video we're going to be talking about gold, just going to highlight some key levels ahead of the Federal Chair Powell uh, speech tomorrow. So it is the Jackson Hole Symposium at the moment and uh, usually we have lots of Fed members speaking on the current um, sort of economics in the uh, uh, going on. So, obviously, Federal Chair Powell speaking is going to be something that's quite big in the markets, especially because of the conditions of the markets at the moment. So, are we going to get a, a hawkish Powell or are we going to get a dovish Powell? That's what we're going to look at and look at the levels of the if, buts and maybe. So, you know, if we get a stronger dollar, where could price go to? If we get a weaker dollar, where could price go to and retest? So, I've got some levels behind that I want to take you through. Um, these are all kind of derived from sort of the volume profile and uh, some other kind of lows as well. So let's have a little look at the bigger picture. So what I have here is the monthly. Okay, so that's last month. That is the month of July. And then I have the August weekly um, ones on at the moment, just so we can see where price is going on a weekly basis for August. Now, What's quite interesting for gold is we opened outside of value and price has come all the way back up into the weekly value area low. Now, if this was typical, um, I'd be saying that we could be looking for some sellers to enter the market here because typically the market would retest a value area low and that would act as resistance for further opportunities to the downside so that's something i would be considering at the moment is a potential opportunity to to trade down towards the monthly value area high but on the flip side we've broken the monthly value area high so would that suggest that on the bigger scale on the bigger picture we could actually be seeing price move a lot higher now i think this is all going to be determined by the Federal Reserve Chairman's talk. I think if he starts to become hawkish and the dollar gains strength, I do think that we'll find resistance at this weekly value area low. And if we were to break back into the monthly value area high, I think if we retested, we could potentially see price come all the way back down towards the 17 hundred dollar level so that's one scenario that we could be looking at going into uh, tomorrow the second one is a break above the weekly value area low so obviously we're looking at this as a, a bit of an area of rejection however if price was to close back above this area close above this high for instance i think that we could potentially then see price trade all the way back up to the untested point of control and maybe even untested value area high we may see some sellers coming in at that point um, but you know that could also offer opportunities for a bit of a reaction from the news um, but those were the areas that i would expect to see tested if we were going to try and, and break to the upside if the dollar was to weaken on any announcements if we go and look at it in a little bit of a finer detail so if i was just to go down into the 15 minute time frame you know we can see how well price has reacted to certain areas today if i just zoom out slightly and zoom back in just to collect some more data you can see that we actually had an untested point of control from um let's just check what day that was so it was back on the 18th of august you can see we had an untested point of control at 1764 which price has reacted from today we traded to the downside and we're currently finding some support at the previous uh, value area high uh, level so um, price finding some support now could potentially trade to the upside uh, from this area through here dependent on you know if price doesn't react from the value area, the current sort of value area high um, but nice area for resistance we had the puck in there we have the weekly value area low all good signs to start looking for opportunities to get short now if price or if the dollar is going to get stronger, we could expect or anticipate price to break the value area low and continue towards the monthly area. This is where we might find a little bit of support unless price breaks through and trades lower. Alternatively, if that dollar is going to sell off, 
This is the area I want to see broken. I want to see 1766 taken out. I want to see the weekly value area low taken out. That can then offer us some opportunities in the short term. So those are your levels to be aware of going into the um, into the speech tomorrow. I hope you found that information useful. If you did, leave this video a like and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Um, and yeah, subscribe and there is plenty more Forex trading uh, videos for you to check out uh, below. So thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.